Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a queen in every sense of the word. She's a music mogul star of stage and screen and so much more. I recently spent some time on the set of the Fox hit TV series Star to catch up with the legendary Ooh. Queen Latifah. <laughs> well, Queen, we're so excited to have you on Sister Circle. Well, actually, to be here at this junket, this is awesome. This is like full circle for me because I like Star, I love you, you're my favorite. So Carlotta, yeah. okay, it seems like Carlotta is just like unlucky in love. She, she yeah, goes she through goes these different through relationships. What does this speak to, like what characteristic does this speak to in her character? Like what does this, what kind of, as far as her womanhood is concerned? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that she has already met and kind of lost, but still has the love of her life, who was Hail. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that is the person who knew her best. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they were just too young anyway. I mean, it was, life it took its course. Right. So I think she might have been unlucky in other places in her life, and it affected, you know, her relationship-wise. Um, and, yeah, I mean, she's just one of those people who who sometimes picks the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. they, they are the right guy for that time. Mm. But they may have a, you know, kind of a shelf life um, mm. because other things are more important in her life. You know, with Pastor Bobby played by Tyrese, it was at some point it had to become her daughter's feelings over hers. Right. First of all, she had to learn how to call her son daughter. You mm. know what I mean? So it was a whole evolution with that, with those two characters. Right. All the characters have these crazy things going on in their lives. And we have these new characters who come in, add more, mm -hmm. you know, wild things to, to the situation that you didn't, you know, you will not have seen this coming. And it ain't easy to get over. Especially when it's murderer or somebody she loved. Sometimes you don't know who to trust. You know I always got your back, Carlotta. What the hell you do? Y'all pull y'all guns on each other. I know. And then it's like a gunshot. So I'm well, like, I know you can't dish the whole tea, because no, that ain't cool. But. Yeah. Somebody will get shot. Let me, I will tell you that. Okay, wait a dog on a minute. Okay. Somebody gonna get Somebody shot. Somebody gonna get shot. Yeah. You're like a renaissance woman. You're an entrepreneur, um, author, actress, singer, uh, MC. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in your life that you can say, man, I wish I, I wanna do, I haven't done that yet? There are a few th things I would still like to do, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, there's still like a, a lot more with my company, Flav Unit, that mm -hmm. my partners with Shop Kim. We have a lot of projects that we're trying to still get off the ground and mm -hmm. things we want to see happen. Um, there's also some other things that I want to do education-wise. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm working with Strayer University right now. They've kind of, I've never lost it, but they've reignited my education buzz. Mm -hmm. I, I still want to get a degree. Um, and I, there's some manufacturing things that I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, having taken this journey with my mom uh, through, through her health, Mm -hmm. There's some things I learned along the way that I'd like to share. So I think I may explore those things. Well, switching gears, I would like to really talk about your filmmaking initiative. The purpose of the Queen Collective is to bring more female directors to film. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think out of the many films that were made last year, only 4% were made by female directors. Mm -hmm. out, of, out of the many hundreds of commercials that were wow. made, less than 10% were made by female directors. Mm -hmm. As, uh, and and Considering that we have over 50% of the buying power, yes, and we're we only do. making less than 10% of the Hello, commercials. Hello, somebody. Um, it was something that uh, Mark Pritchard, who runs uh, Procter & Gamble, mm -hmm. the biggest advertiser, right. something we talked about and recognized that there was a there was a, a problem, obviously, and we needed to do what we could. So, right. um, what we want to do is foster sort of to you know some female directors, and we're gonna. Uh, basically make their movie. Right. Um, they'll be they'll be curated through the Tribeca Film mm -hmm. Festival. Mm -hmm. So if they have something, they send it in to awesome. Tribeca. Then we'll select uh, the directors and we'll make their movie from beginning to end. And, you know, budget A to Z, as mm -hmm. well as the marketing, the promotion, oh, and getting it amazing. in theaters so that they can hopefully be off to their career. And then that's add awesome. one, one by one, we'll add more directors, yeah. female directors. And we create our own businesses, our that's own right. revenue this way. Yeah. Okay, one last thing. There's a meme going around is it good? that is based on Colin Kaepernick. And it's a Nike, it's a Nike meme. Now uh -huh. some people are turning it up, making it funny, <laughs> but other people are making it positive. We got on our Nikes, we represent them, okay? Uh, and basically the premise of the whole campaign is like, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. If you look back over everything that you have gone through, what would Queen Latifah's meme say? 
Hashtag, they calling me right now. And that was what it would be. She's busy. I Booked and busy. busy. Booked and busy. They calling me right now. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish she could have had more time with her. Right. But she had to rush back to rehearsal. Make sure you catch the season three premiere of Star next Wednesday, September 26, honey, at 9, 8 Central. And the conversation, of course, always continues on all social media platforms. Yes, yeah, Selena and Nicole. Great job.